Hello everybody. We are here on the Billy Gentry show for fishing. We are on Chat Cat's guide service and we are below Nickajack Dam. And we are catching skipjack for catfish bait. Here's Floyd. He's a Vietnam vet that served our country. And there's Billy, and he's going to be doing the demonstration. And I'm here to have fun. All right, Billy. Billy's doing a lot right now. He's controlling the trolling motor while also catching the skippies. Oh, and he has one right there. Now, Skipjack gets the nickname Tennessee Tarpon because of its strong endurance and aggressive strikes. And they really do act like a saltwater tarpon, hence the nickname Tennessee Tarpon. But what they really are is just a shad, pretty much, that run below dams and fast-moving water. Uh, so Billy just caught one there. We, probably, we have like two cooler fools of skipjack and uh, typically in the spring is when they usually run um, below the dams um, so anywho very fun to catch hey guys um, I'm gonna show you um, how to bag and freeze your skipjack and I also wanted to show you um, the tackle that I use to catch these skipjack. Um, I have a heavy duty one, um, which is right here. And I'll use this rod. It's a sturdy stick. It's medium action rod. And it's a lot, heavy, you know, a lot heavier in the sense of um, durability is concerned. And I'll use something like this and a heavier current um, below dams. And, uh, you know, I'll use a Carolina rig with the sliding sinker to the bead, going to a barrel swivel, all the way down to a snap swivel. And you can put a spoon um, and any other sort of jig on your, on your swivel that you uh, would like to have. And then sometimes, usually I'll use the light tackle rod, <clears throat> um, even though this is a, for me, it's a medium action rod, but I have like six pound test on here. And I'll usually just put split shots on here, um, followed by barrel swivel to a spoon, marabou jig, or whatever. Now, one thing you'll know about skipjack is that they're very, very finicky fish and uh, they prefer to hit and strike um, a variety of things but sometimes you got to figure out what they want to take um, I've caught them on these spoons here um, these are like folly spoons but I got another brand called Bojo Lures I got these at Sportsman Warehouse and uh, these spoons are very very good um, so it kinda has like a minnow impersonation followed by a single hook so sometimes they like that, white, green, red, whatever. And then um, they like the marabou jig, which is a crappie jig. And it's just a minnow with a hair tail to a single hook. And I have different colors too. I have this one here. I bought a Bass Pro Shop a while back. And they got, oh, this one's all kind of beat up. You got this one here, green, red, with a red, red head. So they, you know, sometimes they prefer different colors depending on the weather and if it's gloomy outside, if it's sunny. You got to kind of figure out what they want. Um, and then sometimes I've I've caught them on, on something like this. Um, this is a plastic jig, and pretty much what you can do is you buy these single jig heads, like this. Okay. And, um, and then you can buy these plastic minnows here and you can just put it, put it in through the hook and 
and whatever and then you'll you'll be kind of set for it there so you can do that and um, and then there's different colors for these as well so anyway that's just kind of the tackle that I use um, obviously you want to have maybe two two rods um, for skipjack a light you know a lighter tackle one and a heavier tackle just depending on where you're located and what type of waters you're near where you can catch skipjack um, so and obviously if you have any questions leave comments um, or you can also do more additional research on um, other people's accounts I know Steve Douglas does a good job on educating people on skipjack where to catch them what to use and so forth so anyway we'll talk to you later